Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of place value, specifically the relationships between various places in our place value system, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's just start with the very basics, things that we learn in pre-K. We count and we keep going all the way up to 9, but you notice that when we get to 10, something different happens. We represent 10 with a combination of two different digits. If we wanted to start with 0 up here, we can see that all the digits from 0 to 9, so our digits are 0 to 9, and those are the only 10 digits that we have, all of those fit into one place right here. But the second we go to 10, we actually have a combination of two different digits. It's a 1 and a 0. That represents our value 10. Our number system is called a base 10 system. And that might be something that you want to remember, this term base 10, because what that means is once you get 10 of something, you have to go to the next place value. So if I have 10 ones, I cannot put the 10 inside this ones place. I have to go over to the next place value, in this case it's the tens. And so what this means is, let's write your basic place value right here. You've got your ones, you've got your tens, and you've got your hundreds. So one ten, you see my one ten right here, is equal to ten ones. So ten is equal to ten ones. And that's what it means to have a base 10 system. The next place value to the left is worth 10 of the place value to the right. Think about if we were to take this number right here. Pretend these are base 10 blocks. So I've got 100 plus a 10 rod plus 1. So that's going to make 111. If I wanted to, I could break apart this big 100 flat, and you've played with base 10 blocks, you know that that 100 flat is worth 10 tens. There are 10 tens inside that 100 flat. And so if I wanted to, I could take these 10 tens from this 100 flat, keep the 110 that was already there, and the one that's left over, and I would still get 111. And that's what we could do with the base 10 system. We can exchange different place values because 10 tens equals 100. And so sometimes you might be asked to represent or decompose a number in a different way. And you can do that. You can say 111. The easiest way to draw 111 is 110, 100, and 11. But if you wanted to, you could also draw this 111 like I did right here. I can draw it with zero hundreds, but I can draw it with 11 tens and then one one. Now let's practice. You see the number 4,437. I want you to take a moment and I want you to see if you can find two digits in this number, 4,437 that are exactly 10 times apart, where we see this relationship of one digit being exactly 10 times greater than another digit. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure that out and explain why, and then unpause the video and we'll look for the answer. Hopefully you had a chance and you were looking and you saw these two digits that are right next to each other. This 4,000, is exactly 10 times larger. I'm going to put an X for 10 times than the 400. And the reason I know this is because, first off, these two digits are exactly next to each other. The two digits have to be exactly next to each other to even possibly be 10 times larger the left one being 10 times larger than the right. But the second is they have the exact same digit. If I were to take my 400, and if I were to add this 10 times, I'm going to just draw an arrow down here and say 10 times, 10 400s, guess what I would get? I would get 4,000. 